So next we will talk about the UPI, the most important thing that you use every day. How many of you know that what is the role of NPCI in case of UPI transaction? So let's try to understand this with the help of an example. Please take a look at it because you are doing it every day. So let's assume you are transferring some fund from your phone pay to someone who has Google Pay UPI ID. So what happens? So when you, you initiate the transaction from phone pay, phone pay pass on your bank information to NPCI. And NPCI based on the UPI ID that you have entered against Google Pay account. So if I'm transferring fund to someone, so I will enter his Google Pay ID in my phone pay ID. So based on his Google Pay UPI ID, NPCI will get his bank account detail in step number four. So now NPCI has two bank account details, right? One is the account to be debited. One is the account to be credited. Very simple. So they will send a transaction, debit transaction to the remittance bank and debit the transaction and debit the account. And subsequently, they will send a credit transaction to the beneficiary and credit the account. So in total eight steps, your transaction is done. And after that, just a notification is sent that transaction is successful so that both side user, the payee as well as the payer, both the user get to know that this particular transaction has been successfully approved. 